a lot of things have changed in the previous years. As a result of these changes many aspects of our professional and our personal lives have moved to online platforms. Including therapy. So, therapy has now become online therapy. Overall, online therapy is very similar to -to face-to-face therapy. And it is as effective as face-to-face therapy. But, it does involve a different set of dynamics compared to in-person sessions. Mostly because of the unfamiliar dynamics added by the use of electronic media. The result is that online therapy is a different experience from being face-to-face in the same room with your therapist. For people who are comfortable with working and communicating online, it is a convenient, and an increasingly popular way to access professional therapy. For them, meeting a therapist online for the first time will feel like a seamless transition. However, if you are not comfortable with communicating online, you might feel uncertain about online therapy. You might, for example, have questions like Will it feel like just another online meeting? Will I be able to open up? How do I know if this technology will work? I don't have a laptop, will it work on my phone? I don't like looking at myself on the screen, will I be able to adjust the view? And it is quite normal to feel uncertain, and to have these questions when you begin with online therapy. Like all things, it might take some time and experience to adjust to online therapy. Lots of people have started on their journey with online therapy, became at ease with it, and today prefer it to -to face-to-face therapy. And they will all tell you the same thing. If you find the idea of online therapy slightly scary, there are some clear guidelines you can follow to make the transition easier. Being prepared for your first online session can greatly improve your overall personal experience of online therapy. A positive first experience with online therapy will motivate you to keep working and connecting with your online therapist. In the rest of these videos, you will get essential guidelines to help you make the most of your sessions with your online therapist. And here's the first guideline. To get the most out of online therapy you have to start before you start. That is, you have to get a few things in place before you even have your first online therapy session. 1. Write down the theme you want to focus on during therapy sessions. You might come to therapy feeling like your life is a total disaster. Where do you even begin? You're having serious problems at work, in your relationships, and at home. Your bad habits are affecting your health, your finances, and your whole life. You're having trouble getting on track with anything. And it's okay to start your conversation with your online therapist by saying, I'm a total wreck. Can we fix everything? But, you'll be more successful if you can give your therapist a more defined indication of what you want to work on. And what it is you aim to achieve with the therapy sessions. So, take some time to formulate what it is that you want to get out of therapy. As well as, how you'll know when you've reached your goals. The following examples may give you some ideas of how to formulate your goals. I want to heal from depression and get my hope and energy back. I want to stop having the same fight with my partner over and over again, and learn how to build a great relationship with her. I want to stop overeating when I'm stressed out and find healthier ways to cope with stress. Write your goals down and keep it at hand, both when you make an appointment with and when you have your first session with your online therapist. As with in-person therapy, there is a great benefit to setting goals you want to achieve through therapy. It will help both you and your therapist to work in a more focused way. 2. Choose to make your therapy sessions a personal priority. Just like you schedule sessions with your friends and carve out meeting times to discuss projects with colleagues, you have to make your online therapy sessions a priority. Maybe, even more so. Online therapy sessions are very convenient in terms of scheduling. But they're also easier to cancel since you can shoot off an email and avoid the appointment. That's why it is imperative to carve out the time and place for it and commit to it even before you make your first appointment. Once you have blocked off the time and made the commitment, you will be more focused on working with your problem. You will also experience that you are in the right mood to get the best out of your therapy session. 3. Make an appointment and get clarity on procedures. When making your appointment, it might be wise to discuss backup options with your therapist. For example, if one means of meeting fails, discuss what you will try next. If Zoom fails, will you use a phone call? Or will you agree to meet at another set time? 
discuss payment fees, options, and procedures, discuss how medical aid claims will be handled, and discuss documentation that is needed to become a patient and how it is handled. 4. Schedule your online therapy sessions strategically. Make sure that you schedule online therapy for when you can be really present. Say, for instance, you schedule it during your lunchtime, but then experience that you find it hard to separate from the demands of your work. It is better to find a time where you can focus more easily on the therapy, without having to jump back out of, or into, spreadsheets and brainstorming sessions. The same goes for doing the sessions from home. Choose a time when it is easier to keep out the distractions presented by family and house chores. 5. Do your due diligence before the session. Read up on any emails your therapist sends you well before your session. These may contain important details regarding procedures, confidentiality, preparation for sessions, etc. Depending on the platform your therapist is using, you may need to download software and set it up on your computer or phone. But more about this a little later. In the next videos, we will give attention to other guidelines on how to make the most of your online therapy. If you are ready to work with us, contact us right now on 071-895-9843 for your online therapy appointment. Here's the number again. 071-895-9843. Hoping to hear from you soon.